Stephen Fernando. Lessons from my barber. Lessons from my barber, Stephen Fernando. Contest chair, ladies and gentlemen. I was born and brought up in a small village called Salama, not very far from Penang. My three brothers and I went to the only barber in that village. His name was Sinbad. We were recommended by my father. Sinbad, a bachelor, was from Madras in India and had spent many years at sea. Thus, when he came to Penang, he gave himself the name Sinbad. A friend brought him to the village and encouraged him to practice a trade he had learned while sailing. Sinbad gave everyone a standard haircut irrespective of our request. <laughs> he would grab our scalp with his huge left hand while stripping the side and then running the scissors at the top, sliding off any strand of hair that stood on the way. <laughs> he spoke incessantly, sprinkling our scalp with his spittle. <laughs> Incidentally, quite a number of us ended up being bald. <laughs> We believe it was due to the acidic properties of his saliva. <laughs> Just like many in his trade, Sinbad seemed to know something about everything. And that made him an icon to me and just about everyone else in the village. Standing six feet three and towering behind us as he tripped the hair, he would expound theories on world affairs, economic, and even local gossip depending who he was talking to. The older men in the village testified that he spoke much common sense, which they found beneficial. And when attending to us youngsters, he would talk about Robin Hood, the Three Musketeers, and always Presley. <laughs> advice can come from anywhere. But good advice comes from the heart. I found this to be true with the lessons I learned from my father. Sinbad gave me advice on perseverance, on possibilities, and personal relationship. When I failed my secondary school examinations, he talked about the importance of examination. He said, Stephen, you might be discouraged now, but you'll be doomed if you do not keep on trying. Perseverance pays. Education, stage. <laughs> I went back set for the exams passed and then got a job in the city. But I was not willing to leave the village. So Sinbad talked to me about possibilities. With the razor in the hand, he told me one day, listen Stephen, I do not have a choice. <laughs> if you want to expand and enhance your life, you want to move away from here. Leave part of you behind, come back whenever you can. I followed Timbet's advice, left the village to start working. And when I decided to get married at the age of 40, I asked Timbet whether 40 was a good age for marriage. <laughs> he simply said, Stephen, that is person, for starting a relationship at 40 is better than 50. <laughs> <laughs> I got the cue, I got married. <laughs> The respected and noted thinker, Roger G. Ingersoll, was once quoted as saying, it's better to have common sense without education rather than education without common sense. I'm grateful to Sinbad for sharing with me his common sense. My message to you this morning is this. Some of our best teachers could be those who perform for us seemingly menial tasks. They qualify to be our tutors because of the experience, exposure, and education. After all, our parents as our first teachers prepare us for daily living with their own simple philosophies. They too prove, as in their day, that good advice comes from the heart. Last year, we were informed that Sinbad, then 88, was admitted to the local hospital. My brothers and I rushed to visit him. He looked weak and feathered, but still had his sense of wit. 
As I sat in front of him, he said, for once we are face to face. <laughs> he then reached down under the pillow, pulled out an envelope, and produced a two degree certificate from the University of Madras. One was for history and the other for economics. I thought to myself, wow, my barber has double degree. <laughs> Sinbad explained that since those qualifications were not accepted in this country, he became a barber. A few days later, Sinbad passed away. At the funeral, everyone it seemed had some story to tell about this warm, wise, and witty barber. One man told about the time when he went to Sinbad, excitedly asking for an Elvis Presley hairstyle. He got the standard Sinbad star. And so he told Sinbad, Elvis does not look like this. Sinbad quickly replied, he would if he were to come here. <laughs> Sinbad is no longer around, but his lessons are with me. Lessons I share with you, ladies and gentlemen, on perseverance, on possibilities, and personal Yes, personal relationships. Good advice comes from the heart. Context.